Hi, good morning. My name is Tony. I'm the proud owner of this Phaeton 2020 uh, motor coach. It's, it's a gorgeous uh, machine, and I'd like to show you inside. Here we've got a beautiful entrance. By the way, we have controls to the, the lighting and um, anything that you need from the outside and inside. Fire extinguisher. We've got about five steps to come inside, and this here is where I do most of my the driving, the captain's chair. As you can see, we have the radio. We have three cameras at all times, so for security purposes. Really nice and clear. It's very helpful as you drive. It's very safe. It's easier than most other uh, motor coach I've ever owned. Over here, as you come into the living space, uh, you have an option of looking at either this TV, which retracts down. There's a button over here. If you want to get it out of the way, you just turn it down. Or you can watch the TV up there. It folds away and it's nice when you want to watch, like we just watched the Super Bowl. Um, and here we have this couch. This is, uh, it opens up and it's, it's a mattress. You can uh, control the firmness however you want to feel most comfortable. And it's other side, we have a few time bed. So this opens up, it's a flat, and this, one, this one's a sofa bed. So there's plenty of sleeping room for guests or company. Uh, this is another added feature for safety. When you, Once you're in for the night and you anchor down, you can cover it up so that you don't accidentally uh, fall and break your leg. And then Donna's driving over there and I want to relax for a little while. I can always... You can recline the chair and you can actually be very comfortable and you can just relax while your partner drives the RV and speaking of I'm gonna say good night right now with this panel here you can unlock it and lock your door you have special code or you can ring the bell if uh, if the door is locked and we're in the back you hear it inside and this controls the lights the door light, anything you want to do with the awning. Okay, here we, uh, another added feature is if you just want to block the sun, then you use the shade and then, and then they can't really see inside that well. But at nighttime, you want to also shut this one and that gives you so, the security that, that's needed. And that's in every window. You have these options as well. Again, the, the chase provides, I mean, it blocks the sun completely. So if by chance you want to go to Alaska and you have the sun sh sh shining 24 hours a day, you can use these shades here to completely block the sunlight so you can have uh, darkness. Okay, uh, over here, well, I'm using it as my office at the current moment. This is your dining room. 
this this here also collapses down and you can use it for uh, sleeping for younger kids so that's you can sleep two or three kids here uh, the kitchen has many amenities we have this plug here if you need any extra outlets um, we have a dishwasher we also have the, uh, the ability to have add more space if you want to cook and you need more space to allow for cutting or preps for your food here is the oven or the stove top it's two burners with this burner we have to you have to use the pots and pans that came with it it will not work with a normal average um, pan so these are the pans that comes with it up here you have additional pots and pans but the, it, it only works if you use these uh, the, this type of pots and pans we got a double sink here Oh, the microwave. We have a microwave and it's a conventional oven. Excellent. This thing cooks beautifully. It's, it, 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 it cooks almost half of the time as a regular microwave or oven. It's really a, a great asset. All right, this is a space to put um, whatever we use it, for all these appliances. This is a storage area for your, for your spices or whatever you might want. There's more room in here. This is a full-size refrigerator and a freezer. We have more room for more storage, which comes in handy. And as we continue to go this way, this is the main control that controls pretty much everything in this motor coach. This is the main screen. Then if you want the lighting, this controls each light. Some of these lights dim. Like if you want that one and you want to get it to go up, you can also increase the, the dimness. This is your power. Right now it's plugged in. Your temperature, we have uh, floor heaters. So if you want your floor to be warm, you have that option to do so. We got three air conditionings. As you can see, the rear, the middle, and the front. The heater, furnace, everything is controlled here. This is how you expand the, 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 the slides. Um, and, and just tell them that there's four slides. Yeah. As you can see, and this here, it's got four slide outs. It, th this is how you control the back ones. On the, on the front there, on, on the chair, you control the, the two front. Here, you have access to the fans. You got a gallery fan, which is right here, and the bathroom, and the ceiling fans. And lastly, it's just more information of what, the, what this entails, and, and, and you can set the clock with this option over here. As we move further in the middle, this is the, the, the bathroom. It has a, a walk-in shower, um, very accessible. Uh, the bathroom has uh, beautiful lighting. The controls are here. And if you are not connected, then you use the water pump so that the water can flow. And this is your, the fan that's up there. And here you have your towels and, uh, and more storage. Yeah, there's your towels and more storage room, which Donna's got. This here, this here is when you want to rinse out the toilet, then th this is what it's for. Behind us, next here is a bunk bed, which we can also use as a storage. Right now we're using it as a storage, but once we get all the clothing out, you have two bunk beds for, for children and you also have USB connection, you have your own lighting. It's beautiful inside for kids to enjoy and yeah, they're sleeping. And this is where uh, my wife and I sleep. This is a uh, nice size, queen size bed. Uh, further back here, if you need to, if there's an emergency or any type of, or even if you want to load stuff inside the motor coach, you don't want to go to the front. You have access to an escape door. And then this, you, you pull that latch here. That opens up and then the steps fall down. It's that way you can get outside. 
if, in case of an emergency, or again, if you just want to load stuff inside without having to go through the front. Storage area. No, this is pretty deep. We have uh, plenty of stuff inside there. As we look around this way, as you can see, washer and dryer. Very nice amenity. This is, as you can see, uh, and we also have a safe in the back if you need to store any belongings. As you can see, we have a we have a safe back here, which comes in handy if you want to keep your stuff safe. A nice TV. Well, we got the VCR and any uh, additional uh, toys you want to connect to the TV. This is your hamper for your clothing. And this is just more more storage and more storage up here. Uh, it's got plenty of lighting. You got the controls to light in here. And you have another control to manage your fan, ceiling fan, and any other lighting you may want to use. So, so as you can see, it's a beautiful toy. It's, it's, it's a way to travel. Uh, we, we have plenty of fun with it. We've been to California numerous times, and I can tell you that this is the best way to travel. It doesn't get any better than this. Thank you. solar panels so when you're on the road you don't have to have the generator on uh, the, the three solar panels on top will provide enough power to run the refrigerator the microwave but not the air conditioning units because that draw a lot of electricity this is where you control the awning outside and the lighting outside this here you can use either antenna or cable right now we're using cables you can see the light indicating the cable and this is your winter guard the satellite system as you're traveling you can watch tv while you're on the road uh, it's a nice station here right here is it's an automatic uh, leveling system you have to have the key in, in, the, in the ignition and the on button and these uh these will automatically level your motor coach or you could do it manually by these buttons here but you use the auto and it will level your motor coach um, and if you want to once you're done and you're ready to move you can put cancel or auto store and they all will, they all will, uh, they will come up. So then it'll indicate when all the levels are up, so that you're safely able to take off. It also has an air horn, which was an extra added feature, and then that, and that comes in, in, in handy when some of the drivers don't give you the right of way. So you press the air horn, and believe me, they get out of your way. Um, Can you press it, or is it, is it super loud? Hmm? Is it super loud? No. Oh, it's, oh yeah, I can. I'm going to press it. Wait, oh, I got to have it on. Watch this. But now it, it's got to be on. Oh, okay. The one, because the other one wasn't working. It's, so that's a new Wi-Fi. That connects. We got fans that if you want to just circulate the oxygen or the air, you can do that as well. This here, we keep it covered, but you can, when you're driving, you can take that out so you can visualize. And it has a nice, uh, the cameras are really useful as far as when you're actually on the road. It, it, it'll, if you drift off the, your road, it will let you know, it'll ding. Also, if you're too close to the car in front of you, I have a, a sensor in the front that it will slow you down uh, if uh, there's a blind spot, if there's a car there and you're trying to change lanes, it would indicate that there's a, a vehicle and, and that's an added safety feature. So th this motor coach has got all the safety, all the upgrades. And like I said, it's a wonderful toy. Um, I hate to sell it, but somebody else will enjoy it as well. Well, okay, I showed you the inside. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the outside. It's just as beautiful on the outside as it is inside very healthy door actually here you have the option of unlocking or locking your motor coach with a code it also has a doorbell 
So if you have somebody visiting and you happen to be in the back, they could ring the doorbell and let you know somebody's there. So that's another beautiful uh, part of this motor coach. It's got these handles that they do light up at night. It's for safety feature and we got one on the steps as, to, as we go upstairs. Uh, this uh, the awning, you have the option of turning the lights on and off. They all, we have uh, lights all around the motor coach, uh, as you can see. Uh, we have the couple options there. We have a television. If you want to spend the time outside, it's a beautiful day like today. You have a TV and it has a surround sound. So and, and that's an option that you have as well to enjoy the outdoors. Uh, as you, we look around, you notice we have plenty of uh, compartments. Uh, in here, that's where your connection to the motor is and storage area, as you can see, it's been utilized. There's plenty of storage room, plenty. I call it the basement. These, are, as you can see, I have items, but these here, you don't have to reach all the way in. This latch releases this drawer, it comes out, so you don't have to reach in there. I know for some of us it's hard to bend over so much, so that is also another option that's, uh, that's ideal. We have more, more storage here. As you can see, I'm utilizing, so they can see it up close. As you can see, we have more storage and I'm, I'm utilizing most of it. Break is all, it goes across to the other side. So you have ample space. Well, as you can see, the color of this motor coach is awesome. It, it, it's it's multicolor, but I truly like the model here, Peyton. And when the people see that name, they, they, they know that you, you, you have one of the best motor coaches on the road. And I, as you can see, I covered the tires, which is always a good idea. We have uh, the regular batteries, plus I also bought four additional strong batteries that will run the unit. Uh, in case you lose power, you can jump the motor with the battery for the coach or vice versa. You can use it to jump your motor coach. Here you have more, more storage and more electrical access. So if they have to analyze your motor coach, they have access to that as well. And back here you have this, the ladder that will take you to the top where you have three solar panels, you have three air conditioning units, you have your satellites, you have your wireless. Uh, it's all accessible and easy to reach in case they need to service it whatsoever. So far, um, it's been running great. No, no problems whatsoever. Here, that's the engine. Um, it's a freight liner. It's Beautiful, it's clean. I also added a flat turbo blue ox, which um, if you was to use it as I do to pull my vehicle behind me, you would just have to have the, the other connection put in, but it's already set up on the motor coach. And this is an easy way to get in and out in case you have to fill up any of the fluids. Uh, and that's and that side. As you can see, you have a camera in the back uh, the Tiffin emblem, and of course, my Phaeton. And then as we continue to go on this side, this is a storage, but I used, I just add another hose to it. You can you put whatever you want in it. Yeah, we got a Cummings generator. Here is your electrical hookup. And as if you can see, you have a surge guard already you don't have to purchase any any safeguard this will protect your motor coach from burning up in case there's a, a shortage or a lightning strike and this has a button here where once we want to uh once we want to retract it when we're done this button here will wind up your cord you don't have to sit there and try to wind it up on your own so it does it for you and since this is a diesel engine it has a the def container uh, for those of you who know diesel yeah, uh, that's that's where you put your DEF in there. Comes in handy. It's beautiful. This is a, an important part of the motor coach. This is where your you connect all your drainage, your sewage, your water, all your tanks. Uh, Self-explanatory. Uh, 
again this has a button where it retracts your water hose if you need it it tells you how full your tanks are so you don't have to run inside you have cable and a tripod connection when you're done with your tank you can connect the hose here and, and flush your tank which is a nice uh and this is more receptacle if you need if you need it you got a, a shower out here if you want to shower or if you want to just rinse something out you have a, uh you have a hose here for that purpose okay and here is how you set up if, if you're driving right now we have it on city water because we connect the hose to this and that provides the water to it once you're on the road you want to fill up the tank that was on the other side and that's the water you use once you turn on your water pump that's your water pump uh, right there this is a filter for your water it tells you when it needs to be changed and of course handy dandy paper towel holder this here is it's a good it's a very good uh this here is your aqua hot um, this is an added feature to this motor coach. We can get our floor warmed up. Uh, we get hot water within seconds. This is all an electrical motor coach. It's nothing to do with propane gas of any kind. So this is your main, your main uh, system that controls the, the heat on the water, the water, uh, the floor heat. And I have uh, provided some of your antifreeze there. You don't really use that much, but you want to maintain and make sure that it stays on the correct level. That's more storage. That's just more of the same on the other side. As you can see, there's more storage there. This is the one with the slide out. So if you want to get something that's in the middle, just move this latch here, and it'll bring the it'll bring the tray out for you. So you don't have to uh, uh, hurt your back. This controls here. If, if when you want to store your motor coach for a while, you want to disconnect your batteries so it doesn't drain it while it's being stored. So that's where you would do that. You would turn that self-explanatory. It's got two dials, turn it to off, and you disconnect your batteries. And these are additional batteries. I have six of them, and they provide backup in case uh, for some reason your, the batteries in the front gets drained. You can jump your motor coach with these batteries here. And lastly, that's the brain. That's what controls this beautiful motor coach. And um, as, as if you, we really don't need this anything. That's for the service people. But if you have, uh, if you need something filled up with a water hose, with an air hose, then you connect this and you can fill out, you can inflate balls or rafts or whatever you might want. That's what this is for. And also, in this motor coach, if you're in a gas station and, and the pump happens to be on the right versus the left, you have access to fill up on this side, and we also have one on the other side. So you don't have to, you know, wait online because oh, it's on the left. Well, if it's on the right, it's okay. You have a, you have a access to the other side as well. The cameras are here. It shows you the side of the motor coach as you're driving or for the blind spot. Uh, and this is the apparatus. This will tell you if you're too close to a car in front of you or somebody gets in front. Uh, this motor coach will slow you down. It'll tell you that you're too close. It'll it'll ding. It tells you it flashes on the dashboard, and it will actually slow you down so that you don't you know as, as you don't rear in anybody. Uh, I added these lights because that you lights up the road, especially at night. With this beautiful motor coach, uh, when there's no lighting on the road, you really have to stay focused. When well, you turn these guys on, it'll light up the road better than anything I've ever seen. So as you can see, you can take this anywhere. It, it's a diesel engine. It rides like a charm. Uh, whoever purchases this thing is going to get one of the best motor coaches on the road.
everything in the generator is on the front of the motor coach if you need to look at the generac or do it uh, look at it for servicing whatever there's a latch under here that releases the releases the front and then you come up here now you have access to the generator or any other features that uh, if you want to add uh, flu fluids for your window it's right over there and it, this also tells you how many hours use of the, on the generator so that you can maintain it and keep it working nicely We are now on top of the motor coach. Just to give you an idea of what's on the top here, we have three air, air, three air conditioning. That's one there. The other two up front. This here is the Wi Fi. It's the shower top. Air conditioning in the middle. This is your three solar panels that will provide energy while you are on the road. This is a fan that's in the kitchen. Triple vision. This is your, your winter guard for your satellite and your antennas for to get good radio reception. There's no issues with the motor coach whatsoever. Never had any problems. And I know that it's a, definitely a good, good motor coach. Uh, here we have additional storage. I mean, it's, it's got plenty of room for sure. Here is, uh, if you're not able to get a hose to reach on the other side, let's say to add water to your storage, this is your the bin where you, you, you store the water while you're traveling. You can use it for bathroom, sink, uh, it's, it's, and it's got an overflow valve in case you forget and it fills up, it just dumps the water out. It doesn't go inside your motor coach. And every compartment has a lighting. When you open up the door and it's dark, it lights up. So you have uh, lighting so you can see what you're doing.